Hello everyone, I'm Rich Lamont and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Glad to have you. So today I'm just doing a little bit of material prep and I wanted to uh, bring you guys along. We're working with uh, some golden pheasant tippets. I got some new heads that I want to shape. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I've already separated away out the, uh, the crests themselves. I'll shape those later. Right now this is about the tippets. So I've already uh, steamed a few. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take these and I'm going to pluck the individual feathers and I'll hold them over with some steam and that's going to help straighten them out. Now some of these are actually in pretty decent shape but if you look right here like this one uh, this one's a little bit off and you can see it's um, a little bit bent up from being in the package or being in uh, the neck itself. Same with this one. This one's got quite a few that are pretty off as you can see. Um, when you get these it's a good idea to clean them uh, dry them uh, and sort them. I like to do it all at once so today I'm doing both of these necks. Um, now when you are doing your necks uh, it's a good idea to keep them separate. Once you pluck the feathers from one uh, keep them separate um, and bag them up or box them together because barring on these is completely different from bird to bird. So if you're pairing your, your tippets you know, tippets from one may not pair up with tippets from another, so you don't want to get them mixed up. Try to keep them together as much as possible. So, to steam them and get them um, prepped and ready for salmon flies, um, first we boil some water. Let me get my camera set up here for you. Okay, so first we're going to boil some water. And then we'll take our feathers and we're going to just pluck some. I'll take these since these didn't look the best. And then what we'll do is hold these over the steam. As you can see, these are kind of jacked up. This one's really bent and you know the tips are looking a little rough. So We'll hold these over the steam, and what this does is adds moisture back into the feather and back into the feather fibers. And then you'll start to see that as the moisture starts to affect the feathers, you'll see them start to spread out a little bit, and you'll see the fibers start to move. Ones that are bunched up like these, you can just manipulate them a little bit with your fingers. Spread them back out. And we'll continue to just hold that over the steam for a little longer. If the steam bothers your fingers, you can use uh, tweezers or tongs or something like that. But you don't have to hold them over for very long. All right. So as you can see, they're starting to straighten out. steam just a little longer. And that's really all there is to it. As you can see now they've straightened back out. And they're, those are ready to tie with. So we'll take those and I'll set those over here to cool. They're not very hot to begin with but We'll set them on the cool counter. That'll, that'll help them uh, stay in that shape. So I'll just do a couple more just so you can see that again. Let's get under here and we'll pull a few from this other side. You can do three or four at a time, whatever you feel comfortable holding in your fingers. It's And I try to work from the back of the neck forward instead of forward back. I start with the largest feathers underneath. That's just how I do it. You can do it however you like. So again you see they're a little... these ones aren't terrible. I'm sure we could straighten them out by hand. But you'll see they do 
look much better after they've been steamed. And these didn't need very much. So then you can just go through and use your fingers to line everything back up. There you are, and those three are ready for salmon flies. So again, I'll put these over here. And I'll show you the batch I've got over here. You may have caught it in the, you may have caught it in the side of the video before, but so far here's the ones that I've got. I've already uh, steamed all of these. These are ready for pairing and ready to get tied in. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that was insightful and helpful. Um, my goal is just to help you tie better salmon flies. So if this helped you, give it a thumbs up. Uh, think about subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to see anything special. You want, uh, you know, you want to see a fly that I haven't tied yet. I'm more than happy to get to it. Tell your friends about the channel if they're interested. And uh, as always, tight lines till the next video, everyone. Have a great day.